At restorative techniques, we design and formulate machinery and chemical products for cleaning and paint removal of buildings, principally listed buildings, but really all structures. Uh, there's been a reliance on uh, importing equipment and from manufacturers where the equipment is designed for general purpose use, not specifically for building conservation. And uh, this was something we felt uh, needed remedying. So some of the products that we devise are used on a small scale for sculpture and for ornamental work. Um, but we also deal with very large facades, large buildings. The Lincoln Cathedral is a Norman building and 13th and 14th century. Uh, it's one of the country's finest cathedrals. It has more carving than anywhere else in the country. The stone gradually develops a build-up of what we call black sulfation crust, so that's dirt from pollution, from industry, cars and so on. It can build up to, um, in our case, sometimes an inch and a half thick. Partly it's disfiguring, it blocks the surface of the stone, um, the stone can begin to blister, it can introduce salts into the stone and, and over time your stone block wall or piece of sculpture will eventually need replacing. Cleaning in the past, uh, we've got some great photos of from Victorian times and more recently of people using huge great hoses. I understand in the 60s the fire brigade did actually clean part of the west front with their hoses. We're a bit more subtle these days. The two primary machines we use are the Thermotec, which is the superheated water machine, and also the Vortec, which is the machine that cleans with grit and water in a sort of vortex. We also use micro-air abraders, so very small machines that are very controllable on the sculpture. We use ammonium carbonate poultices, we use a laser. Yeah, Lincoln Limestone has a lovely um, warm orange pattern on it, which is incredibly thin. So when we clean, we have to be very careful not to break through the pattern, otherwise you do end up with a very patchy, patchy result. We clean as gently as we possibly can, so we try and stop somewhere short of very clean. Yeah. It's most particularly important not to make the equipment down to a price, but up to a quality and so we feel an obligation to use good, reliable, robust components and also to make the equipment nice to use. If the operator enjoys using it, then the result is likely to actually improve as well. It could be said that we have two broad categories of customer, those that largely know what they're doing, just need the right equipment, and those that, frankly, are much less sure. They have issues to deal with, not quite sure how to solve them, so uh, your problem becomes our problem and hopefully uh, uh, jointly we find a solution to, uh, to really any cleaning or paint removal issue.